Okay, moving on to the next question. There is yet another two bar network for which we have been asked to find the four Z parameters. That is Z11 up to Z22. And what does this two bar network contain? It contains two resistors. Okay, four ohms is across the input port, and nine ohms is what across the output port. And in parallel with both the ports, you also have got an ideal transformer for which the two dots are shown and also the turns ratio is given which is 1 is to 3. See always if you are given an ideal transformer please indicate the primary voltage, the primary current, the secondary voltage and also the secondary current and I keep telling you one important point what is that always primary will absorb power whereas the secondary will deliver or supply power. So indicate the voltages and currents by following the same notation. Let this be V1, let this be V2, let this be I1 prime, let this be I2 prime. Now look at the green color voltages and currents which are for the ideal transformer. If you look at the primary current which is what I1 prime, is it not entering at the dotted terminal? Yes. So it is what entering at the dotted terminal. And look at the secondary current. Remember the secondary current is not I2, I2 is the current flowing at port 2 or the output port whereas the current flowing at the secondary of the transformer is actually what I2 prime and if you observe I2 prime is what leaving at the dotted terminal, primary current entering at the dotted terminal, secondary current leaving at the dotted terminal. So is it not the case of entering leaving where the ratio is going to be positive which ratio ratio of the two voltages and also the ratio of the two currents so let me just write it okay so v1 by v2 is what 1 by 3 which means v2 equal to what 3 v1 that is one relation that we get from the transformer what is the other ratio it's the ratio of the two currents okay i1 prime by I2 prime it is what 3 so from here I1 prime can be written as what 3 times I2 prime ok so this is from the ideal transformer but we need to find relations between the input current the output current and also the input voltage and the output voltage that is what between or among V1 V2 and I1 I2 Mm. What is this current? Is it not V1 by 4? And what is this current? Is it not V2 by 9? Okay. Now what we'll do? Let us write KCL at this point. Okay. Let us write KCL at this point. What do we get? If I write KCL at this point, won't I get I1 equal to what? V1 by 4 plus I1 prime, yes right, and then mm, mm, let us also write KCL at this point, what is KCL at this point going to be, I2 prime plus I2 uh, equal to what, V2 by 9, okay from here I2 can be written as what V2 by 9 minus I2 prime ok but you know I1 prime is what 3 times I2 prime which means so uh, I2 prime can be written as what I1 prime by 3 ok Look at this, I2 equal to what? V2 by 9 minus I1 prime by 3. And from here, what is I1 prime? From here, I1 prime, I think it will be V2 by 3 minus 3 times I2. Okay. 
Now again, go back to the first equation that we wrote. I1 equal to what? V1 by 4 plus I1 prime. Now in place of I1 prime here, let us write this thing and see what we are going to get. Okay. I1 equal to what? V1 by 4 plus I1 prime is what? V2 by 3 minus 3I2. I hope it is correct. Okay. Now let us send uh, minus 3I2 to the other side. So that we will get I1 plus 3I2 equal to what? V1 by 4 plus V2 by 3. But remember, this V1 which is the input voltage across the port 1 is same as what? The green color V1 which is the primary voltage of the transformer. Okay, so this means V1 equal to what? V2 by 3. V1 equal to what? V2 by 3. Or V2 is equal to what? 3 times V1. Either way, it is what same. Now coming back to this equation, on the right hand side, first term is what? V1 by 4. Write it as it is. And then second term is what? V2 by 3. And from here, V2 is what? 3V1. So is it not 3V1 by 3, which is simply V1? And V1 by 4 plus V1 is what? 5 by 4 V1. And this is what? I1 plus 3 I2. So what is V1 from here? I think it is 4 by 5 I1 plus 12 by 5 I2. Let's look at this equation. V1 equal to what? 4 by 5 I1 plus 12 by 5 I2. Is it not in this form? Z11 I1 plus Z12 I2. That's all. So what is Z11? It is 4 by 5. And what is Z12? It is 12 by 5. Okay. What else can be done? We need to find Z21 and Z22. For which we need to find V2 in terms of I1 and I2. Already we have V1 in terms of I1 and I2. And already we know V2 equal to what? 3 times V1. That means what? 3 times 4 by 5 I1 plus 12 by 5 I2. Which can be written as what? 12 by 5 I1 plus 36 by 5 times I2. And this is what V2. And this is of the form V2 equal to what? Z21 I1 plus Z22 I2. So what is Z21? It is 12 by 5. What is Z22? It is 36 by 5. Okay, that's all. Now we have the final Z matrix, which is what? 4 by 5, 12 by 5, again 12 by 5, and then 36 by 5. Okay.